Hi and welcome to this Majestic Cloud video. In today's video I will show you how to provision a free SSL certificate with AWS Certificate Manager. Uh, AWS offers you this option to provision free SSL certificates and you can use them with uh, uh, Elastic Load Balancing, API Gateway or uh, CloudFront distributions. So uh, you need to keep in mind that these free SSL certificates can only be used in these AWS services. You cannot provision free SSL certificate to use it somewhere else, like for example on some other hosting provider. All the SSL certificates that will be issued here uh, can be used only on these uh, uh, AWS services. I will uh, say them again. Load balancers, uh, API Gateway and CloudFront. So these are the three places where you can use them and provide uh, an SSL certificate for your um, website or API or CloudFront distribution. So um, let's uh, see an example with a load balancer. So Currently, I have a load balancer here, which has uh, a few instances behind uh, serving um, uh, content and the domain name is playgroundmajestic.cloud. You can see it's uh, not a secure uh, connection, so there is no SSL certificate yet. We will uh, configure uh, the load balancer with an SSL certificate that we will be issuing with uh, the AWS Certificate Manager. So let's get started. Um, the first uh, step is here in the Certificate Manager console. Uh, click on Get Started and we will request the public pri uh, pr certificate. Um, okay, click here and we need to provide our domain name. So in this case, it will be playground.majestic.cloud. Okay, uh, we could add other names to this certificate, like, like for example, if you have uh, several domains uh, you wish to add to this certificate, but in the, our case, we will uh, remain with uh, this uh, single domain name. When we click next, uh, we are offered the validation type. You need to validate your domain. Uh, you need to prove uh, that you are the owner of this domain. You can do this uh, in the following ways. The first is DNS validation, where you need to create a DNS record for your domain. Or you can use email validation. In this case, uh, AWS will send an email to uh, one of the email addresses associated with your domain. Um, this is uh, usually webmaster at yourdomain.com or something like that. This is usually configured uh, on when you register your domain. We will uh, stick to DNS validation uh, for the moment and uh, uh, click on the review button. Uh, and then confirm and request. So right now um, we have a, a certificate that is pending validation. Uh, we need to validate this that we own this uh, domain name and then we have the SSL certificate issued. Um, how do you validate the domain name? Basically you need to create a DNS record in your um, DNS uh, provider. Uh, it will be a C name uh, type. Uh, the name should be this here. It's, this is different for uh, every domain. And this is the value. Because I'm using uh, Route 53 as my uh, DNS provider, I have the option to automatically create this re record here in Route 53. Uh, if you use some other DNS provider, you need to manually create this, uh, this record. So let's see what happens if I click it. So I say create record in Route 53. This will be the record. I click on create. And um, let's go to Route 53. 
I had this tab open earlier and you see there is no uh, record created yet if I click on refresh uh, you will see that I have this C name here C name record created uh, automatically so this uh, C name record will be used by AWS to verify that I have control of this domain let's go back to certificate manager and continue and you can see that uh, my domain name is pending validation usually this pending validation can can uh, last a few minutes of even after you create the record it takes a bit to verify but as you can see it's now in the green issued state because my um, um, domain has been verified okay so now we have this SSL certificate which uh, we can use um, let's see the validity uh, it's issued today on 25th of August and it will expire uh, in one year so in one year I will have to renew it also for free uh, with AWS. Now how do I use this uh, on my uh, website? I need to go to my load balancer in the uh, EC2 console so I have this uh, load balancer here you can find the load balancers here in this uh, uh, left side menu uh, and here you see I have one load balancer and if I click on listeners you can see that I have only one listener this is the HTTP listener and um, I will need to add here an HTTPS listener in order to configure my uh, SSL certificate so the SSL termination is done on the load balancer your load balancer will communicate via HTTP regular HTTP with your instance your SSL is uh, terminated here at the load balancer level so let's see how I do this uh, click on add listener and uh, I have this red warning because I already have an HTTP listener uh, uh, configured um, and I will uh, add the HTTPS listener and in this case I have uh, the option to choose my default SSL certificate I can do this from uh, certificate manager this is stands for ACM stands for Amazon AWS certificate manager um, you can import it from IAM or import it from some you can also import your custom uh, SSL certificate that you may have bought somewhere else we'll use uh, the ACM uh, certificate and you can see here I have the certificates showing up I have only one certificate so that's the only one shown if I would have uh, multiple certificates I would have a, a drop down with multiple options here um, let's click on this one after this is done I also need to add the default action and this will be to forward all my requests to the default target group this is the target group where I have my instances registered and uh, this is the target group the load balancer is using uh, to serve uh, content so you could uh, in, in theory um, have uh, one target group for HTTP and one for HTTPS but that's only a theoretical uh, option here um, when we have all this configured we will click on save and uh, it says successfully created listener on port 443 okay let's go back to our load balancer we can see here that we have two uh, listeners now the http on port 80 and https on uh, 443 and this one has also a certificate uh, ssl certificate attached to it now let's go and see if i can uh, uh, use my uh, certificate I mean if my uh, website loads on the 
uh, HTTPS port and if it uses the certificate I uh, just um, issued. So we will type HTTPS playground majestic dot cloud and my website loaded and it says connection is secure certificate is valid if we look at the certificate information it says issued to playground majestic dot cloud by amazon and valid from um, 25th of august until uh, 2019 until 25th uh, September 2020 okay so this is how you can provision a free SSL certificate with AWS I hope you liked this video uh, if you liked it please click on the like button and subscribe to Majestic Cloud for uh, new videos on cloud computing Thank you for your attention and have a great day.